Hmm? Critter Hunter. What's going on guys? So I am back at one of my favorite dive sites you've seen a million times on this channel, Melatopi or Beach Cafe. And a whole bunch of people joined us. So uh, we got some friends, we got some new friends and we're gonna go try to do some critter hunting. And I'm not gonna do a whole lot of filming today. Today's a photo mission. Uh, I'm working on the second nudie book and I got the snoot. We're gonna see we're, we almost got every all the photos we need, but we're gonna see if we can find some new species today. Who knows? Uh, but we're gonna get in the water, do a dive, and then we'll go do a night dive where, where there's much, much bigger, bigger chance of finding some species that we don't have in the book, or at least a better photo. I've been practicing a lot, and especially with the snoot. And yeah, let's see how it goes today. Today is diving with me today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna babysit underwater yeah you're gonna steal sea urchins i already know <laughs> i know so come. yesterday she said you're not romantic i said why she said you never bring me sea urchin when you're underwater it's like you know how hard it is to carry freaking sea urchins thanks do you want to go to apple island today? you guys ready now almost ready almost ready, almost ready. <laughs> you forgot to wear your gear yeah well, this is it. I, I, it was either go shirtless or wear this rash guard, so I'm gonna just wear this one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no Why are you filming this? I'm just putting on my shoe. Uh, let me see if you can do it. Shoe. Uh. <laughs> so we're actually joining these guys today. This is Duke. And we met like a year or two ago uh, yeah. diving on the boat. And uh, he's got an Instagram. He's living in Cebu mm -hmm. diving. And he's got a, he puts a lot of underwater photos and videos on there. So I'm gonna put the description down below, but we're actually joining him today because he stole Alex. I was like, where are you going, Alex? You're mine. So yeah, that's a good way to meet people, huh? Absolutely. So you're, he's got the same camera. We're gonna go do some muck diving right here to the right, you know, been on this channel a thousand times, the right side. And then we'll go do a night dive somewhere. So. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Also mean the critter hunter. It's like a dream come true. He's got he's got my book, but we're working on the second book today. Yeah, I'm gonna get that book too. <laughs> Snoot time. Let me know about it. You ready, Judea? Yes, I'm ready. Look. I'm ready to be a turtle wrangler. Where where's your uh sea urchin pockets? I don't know. <laughs> Clean it, clean I will, it. I will show you how to clean it. Like clean this one to have a clear vision. Teach us. Okay. Put a uh, smart detergent <laughs> to bike egg paste. To bike egg? This washing paste. Yeah. And then next. Oh, you're going to pat 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 like this. Is that how? And make sure you're going to scatter it, you know. You scatter it scatter yeah. it good? Scatter it good. So so you cannot see at all. <laughs> all right, I think this tutorial is done. I'm I'm hot. <laughs> you're going next. You're going to like really clean and then remove all. I that. forgot that part. Okay. Just like do like this. Can I you know? can I stop filming now? Uh, I think that's enough. You're, you're done. Thank you, Dan. Okay. Good. Yeah, yeah. Kitans are already ready. Already. Yeah. Oh, I'm everybody. Ready. Everybody's always waiting on me. <laughs> There's nobody to film me today, so I. Judea's diving with us. I'm going into the water. It's hot. Yeah, all right. <laughs> see? I'm having a hard time to see you. All right, it's too hot. Let's get in the water. One of the first things we run into is this little tiny frogfish off in the sand. Weirdly enough, it's not even the frogfish season but you can still see these pretty much all year round here in Dowin. These guys are tiny and come in lots of different colors and variety and they're a favorite for a lot of people. They're definitely worth seeing and I'm not gonna pass it up even though I'm looking for nudibranch today. Thank you. 
Something else that is pretty common here are these gobies. And they always have a little shrimp that live with them as a little house cleaning maid. So the goby keeps watch at the front of the house while the little shrimp just cleans all day long. Sometimes the shrimp are blind and they just keep a little antenna out so that the goby can warn them if there's problems and then they can both dive into their hole. This one, he just seems pretty happy to keep on cleaning and building the entrance to his little home. I was kind of amazed how huge that claw is. Can you guys see what I see? Here's two scorpion rockfish just hanging out together. They got pretty good camouflage. Here's an awesome little Alicia nudibranch. These guys are really colorful. This one might make it into the book, so I'm glad we got a few shots of it because it's a little bit different color than normal. And this is probably going to be in the book too, even though it's not technically a nudibranch. This is what's called a head shield slug, but definitely related, so it's going in the book as they are all heterobranchs. What's so fascinating about these guys is they seem to crawl around in a little layer of mucus or something. As you can see there's there's like this slime cover all over him that just moves the sand and everything out of the way. It's really really strange. I have no idea how they could produce so much to just go with them everywhere they go. It's gross and fascinating. Here's a nitty break and quite big and he has a little emperor shrimp riding on its back. And plus whatever shrimp that is, I guess they're not friends. You actually see these quite often. These emperor shrimp ride all kinds of things like sea cucumbers and everything in between. And this nudie is pretty big, so he makes a good host. Yeah. How is it? There's a lot of critters. Yeah. He saw a lot of nudies. He saw probably some new ones. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I got some. Got a few deep, decent shots. Not too many, but we'll see. Night dive. Night dives are always awesome. Night dive wait. again? Or two dives here? Seven dives. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty awesome dive. Saw a lot of little critters. Uh, we were gonna wait and just do a night dive tonight, but. We're already out here. We got we got enough time. We're going to go down the road to Wild Reef and do another day dive. And then we'll do a night dive. So should be some awesome photos today. <laughs> More diving, diving. Where are we going now? Catan? Uh, Wild Reef. Wild Reef? Oh, wild. Wild scuba? I don't know. Okay. The road again. Just going down the coast a little bit to the next dive site. We still got our friends with us and subscribers. And gonna try.
try to find more nudies for the book. Downwind of Nudie Break. No, Nudie Break of Downwind Part 2. You ready, Alex? Yeah. You guys ready again? <laughs> what are you looking for? Treasure? Well, I'm looking, me and Katana are looking for nudies, different ones that we haven't seen. And he's looking for everything because he lives in Cebu and it's everything is different here. That's right. So Alex has a hard job finding everything. Now on this dive, I'm going to concentrate on finding more nudie brank for our book. And here's a little tiny leaf sheep. They're super common and nothing new, but it's hard to pass them up. I know you guys like to see them. These things are tiny. Smaller than my fingernail on my pinky. And not the easiest little dudes to film on their little leaves. This one's even harder to film because the stinging hydroid that it is living on really, really stings. So you have to film this without touching it at all. Every time I touch one of these anywhere on my skin, I got rash for a week and so itchy as well. It's like a little jellyfish. But these guys live on them, so yeah, it's hard to film or photograph. But we got some good shots anyway. It's actually a Eubranchus species of nudibrank. And in length, this guy is probably half an inch long. So not tiny, but still really hard to film and they don't exactly hold still and let you do it. And this is a flatworm species. It lives on this little green tunicate. You can pretty much find them on every one you see. And is really tiny as well. Just like leaf sheep, when I can't find anything, I always know that I could probably find one of these living on their little green houses. They don't move much, but you can get some good photos of them and I'm sure they're gonna be in the book quite a bit. So I wanted to show you guys this because it looks like a flatworm like that last one but it's actually a mimic. It's a type of flounder that likes to mimic poisonous flatworms and nudibrank. Anyways thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next dive.